Resolutions are highly structured, making them seem a lot like a puzzle. In this video, we're going to introduce you to each of the pieces. Let's start with the heading. First, make sure your type is left justified. Your header should include the name of your committee, the session number of the conference, and your country's full name. We're going to skip the title for now. We'll come back to it later, but this is where it will go. Centered, underlined, and at the top of your resolution. Next, you will address your resolution to your committee. If you're in Security Council 1 or Security Council 2, you will address it to the Security Council. If you are in any other committee, you will address it to the General Assembly. The next step is to write the preambular clauses. These clauses are meant to provide background about the topic of your resolution and show off your research. Start them with an underlined preambulatory phrase like we're calling or bearing in mind. A list of these can be found on our website. Then include your research. Why is this an important issue for the United Nations to address? What actions have already been taken by international governments, NGOs, and the United Nations? What are the details of the issue? How is your country involved? And these clauses give us cold, hard facts. Psst. A lot of the information you'll be using is the same as what was in your position paper. And your preambular clauses with a comma. The most important puzzle pieces of the resolution are your operative clauses. Operative clauses are all about creative thinking and problem solving. This is where you outline your unique, detailed, and original solution for the issue. Operative clauses are numbered, so start each clause with a number and an underlined operative phrase, like declares or calls upon. Again, a complete list of operative phrases can be found on our website. If you need to elaborate on ideas introduced within an operative clause, you can use subclauses. These should be beneath a main clause and marked by lowercase letters. Subclauses do not begin with action words. If you need to get into even more detail, there are also sub-subclauses, noted by Roman numerals. Your operative clauses exist to provide solutions to a problem. You can form a task force. You can put money into scientific research. You can condemn the actions of other countries or organizations. Above all, be creative. Outline solutions that nobody's ever thought of before, not even the real UN. However, be sure your solutions are detailed. If you need money, specify a funding source. If your solution is going to take time, create a detailed timeline that includes specific dates for each aspect of your solution. The more thorough and specific your solution is, the more likely it will be supported by other members of your committee. End your operative clauses with a semicolon, except for the last one. That one uses a period because it means you're done. But not quite. After you've written your resolution, we suggest going back and writing a title. This should be a short one-line phrase that captures what your resolution's main idea is. Once you've named your masterpiece, you are actually done. Your hard work will have paid off and your resolution will be shared and discussed and debated with everyone in your committee. Congratulations.